Sn is the sum to n terms of the first series, which is equal to 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus and so on. The general term here is k times k plus 1. And so Sn can be written as summation of k times k plus 1, where k varies from 1 to n. This is equal to summation k square plus k. Now summation k square is equal to the sum of the squares of the first n natural numbers, which is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 upon 6. And summation k is the sum of the first n natural numbers, which is equal to n times n plus 1 upon 2. Taking n times n plus 1 upon 6 common, in brackets we get 2n plus 1 plus 3. Therefore, Sn simplifies to n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 upon 3. Let's call this result 1. Now, sigma n minus 1 is the sum to n minus 1 terms of the series 1 upon 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 plus 1 upon 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 plus and so on. The general term here is 1 upon k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3. And so sigma n minus 1 is equal to the summation of this general term where k varies from 1 to n minus 1. Now let us assume that 1 upon k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 is equal to a upon k plus b upon k plus 1 plus c upon k plus 2 plus d upon k plus 3. A, B, C, and D are constants that have to be determined. Now we multiply both sides with K times K plus 1 times K plus 2 times K plus 3. Therefore we have A times K plus 1 times K plus 2 times K plus 3 plus B times K times K plus 2 times K plus 3 plus C times K times K plus 1 times K plus 3 plus D times K times K plus 1 times K plus 2 is equal to 1. Now start by putting k is equal to 0. On the left hand side only the first term is non-zero. So we get a times 1 times 2 times 3 is equal to 1 which implies that a is equal to 1 upon 6. Next we put k is equal to minus 1. Only the second term is non-zero. It's equal to b times minus 1 times 1 times 2 and this is equal to 1 again. Therefore, b is equal to minus half. Next, we put k is equal to minus 2. Only the third term is non-zero. Therefore, c times minus 2 times minus 1 times 1 is equal to 1, which implies that c is equal to half. And finally, put k is equal to minus 3. Only the last term is non-zero. It is equal to d times minus 3 times minus 2 times minus 1 is equal to 1 which implies that d is equal to minus 1 upon 6. Therefore, 1 upon k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 can be expressed as 1 upon 6k minus 1 upon 2 times k plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 times k plus 2 minus 1 upon 6 times k plus 3. Using this result in the expression for sigma n minus 1 derived earlier, we get sigma n minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 6 times summation 1 upon k where k varies from 1 to n minus 1 minus half times summation of 1 upon k plus 1 plus half summation 1 upon k plus 2 minus 1 upon 6 summation 1 upon k plus 3. All of these summations k varies from 1 to n minus 1. Now note that integral of x raised to the power k minus 1 dx where x varies from 0 to 1 is equal to x raised power k upon k where x varies from 0 to 1. Putting in the limits we get 1 upon k times 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 upon k. Similarly the integral from 0 to 1 of x raised power k dx is equal to 1 upon k plus 1 and integral 0 to 1 x raised power k plus 1 dx is equal to 1 upon k plus 2 and finally integral 0 to 1 x raised power k plus 2 dx is equal to 1 upon k plus 3. Substituting these results for 1 upon k, 1 upon k plus 1, 1 upon k plus 2 and 1 upon k plus 3 in the expression for sigma n minus 1 we get sigma n minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 6 times 
integral 0 to 1 summation k going from 1 to n minus 1 x raised to the power k minus 1 dx minus half integral 0 to 1 summation k is equal to 1 to n minus 1 x raised to the power k dx plus half integral 0 to 1 summation k going from 1 to n minus 1 x raised to the power k plus 1 dx minus 1 upon 6 integral 0 to 1 summation k is equal to 1 to n minus 1 x raised to the power k plus 2 dx now summation k going from 1 to n minus 1 of x raised power k minus 1 can be expanded as 1 plus x plus x square plus and so on till x raised to the power n minus 2 this is a geometric progression with common ratio x and sums to 1 minus x raised to the power n minus 1 divided by 1 minus x similarly summation k is equal to 1 to n minus 1 of x raised power k is equal to x plus x square plus and so on till x raised to the power n minus 1 this is a geometric progression again with common ratio x and sums to x times 1 minus x raised to the power n minus 1 divided by 1 minus x likewise summation k going from 1 to n minus 1 of x raised power k plus 1 is equal to x square plus x cube plus and so on the last term is x raised power n and this is equal to x square times in brackets 1 minus x raised power n minus 1 divided by 1 minus x and finally summation k is equal to 1 to n minus 1 x raised to the power k plus 2 is also a geometric progression starting with x cube and common ratio x and adds up to x cube times 1 minus x raised to the power n minus 1 divided by 1 minus x substituting these results in the expression for sigma n minus 1 we get sigma n minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 6 integral 0 to 1 1 minus x raised power n minus 1 upon 1 minus x dx minus half integral 0 to 1 x times 1 minus x raised power n minus 1 upon 1 minus x dx plus half integral 0 to 1 x square 1 minus x raised to the power n minus 1 upon 1 minus x dx and finally minus 1 upon 6 integral 0 to 1 x cube 1 minus x raised power n minus 1 upon 1 minus x dx this is equal to 1 upon 6 integral 0 to 1 taking 1 minus x raised power n minus 1 upon 1 minus x common and in brackets we get 1 minus 3x plus 3x square minus x cube dx this is equal to 1 upon 6 0 to 1 1 minus x raised to the power n minus 1 times 1 minus x whole cube divided by 1 minus x dx this simplifies and we get the value of sigma n minus 1 equal to 1 upon 6 integral 0 to 1 1 minus x raised power n minus 1 times 1 minus x whole square which can be written as 1 minus 2x plus x square this can be further expanded into 1 upon 6 integral 0 to 1 1 minus 2x plus x square minus x raised to the power n minus 1 plus 2x raised to the power n minus x raised power n plus 1 dx Evaluating the integral, we get 1 upon 6 times brackets x minus x square plus x cube upon 3 minus x raised power n upon n plus 2 times x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus x raised to the power n plus 2 upon n plus 2 with x varying from 0 to 1. Therefore, sigma n minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 6 times 1 minus 1 plus 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon n plus 2 upon n plus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 2 taking 18 n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 as the common denominator the numerator is n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 minus 3 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 plus 6 n times n plus 2 minus 3 n times n plus 1 this is equal to 1 upon 18 n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 and the numerator is n cube plus 3n square plus 2n minus 3 times n square plus 3n plus 2 plus 6n square plus 12n minus 3n square minus 3n this simplifies to 1 upon 18n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 and in the numerator combining terms with like powers of n we get n cube plus 3n square plus 2n minus 6
therefore 18 times sigma n minus 1 is equal to n cube plus 3n square plus 2n minus 6 divided by n times n plus 1 times n plus 2. Therefore 18 times sn times sigma n minus 1 minus sn plus 2 which can be expressed as sn times brackets 18 sigma n minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 plugging in the values of sn and sigma n minus 1 derived earlier this is equal to n upon 3 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n cube plus 3 n square plus 2 n minus 6 divided by n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 minus 1 plus 2. This is equal to n upon 3 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n cube plus 3 n square plus 2 n minus 6 minus n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 divided by n times n plus 1 times n plus 2. All of this plus 2. n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 cancel across the numerator and denominator in the first term and therefore 18 sn sigma n minus 1 minus sn plus 2 simplifies to 1 upon 3 times brackets n cube plus 3 n square plus 2 n minus 6 minus brackets n cube plus 3 n square plus 2 n all of this plus 2 n cube cancels in the first term so does 3 n square and so does 2 n and we are left with the first term equal to 1 third of minus 6 which is equal to minus 2 this plus 2 is equal to 0 and therefore we have established that 18 times sn times sigma n minus 1 minus sn plus 2 is equal to 0 which completes the proof